Hey McFly subscribers, so welcome to another Monday chat time with McFly. Basically, channel update. So first things first, uh, unfortunately my wife and I are moving again. Uh, we really do like this place, and uh, when we moved in we were told that there was AC in the house. And so when we were told that, you know, we figured, okay, no big deal. Now, you know, we didn't really think we fully needed it about maybe five to ten days in the year out here it gets hot you know we thought okay well, we'll open the windows if it's a if it's a hundred degrees and it, it doesn't happen often but it does out here if it's a hundred degrees outside okay we might start sweating we'll just have lemonade and whatnot you know uh but they did tell us we had ac and we thought great you know it's good for those days plus my wife's pregnant anyone that has ever had a wife that was pregnant or if you are a woman and you've been pregnant before, uh, you know that kind of need AC. You, you, you don't want to be in the dead of winter or in dead of summer and be sweating. Um, it's just not pleasant. Uh, luckily, it is arid out here. It's, it's dry, so it's not like humid like Texas, but it, it still gets, I mean, a couple days a year it gets to 100 degrees. What we found, though, is that there is no AC, so we turned it on and we we're like, it's not coolant. Uh, so it just recently in the last uh, few weeks, uh, three weeks or so, started um, getting warm. So we, eh, maybe about a month. So we turned on the AC and we're like, it hasn't dropped the temperature at all. Uh, so then we called the leasing company and they uh, sent out an AC repair guy. Turned out there's no AC. It's not installed. Uh, there's thermostat and it says heat or cool. Uh, there is a, com uh, there's the HVAC, I think, but there's no compressor or something like that. I don't know exactly. I'm not, I'm not an AC guy. I don't really know how that works, but it's not installed. So I was like, okay, well, when are you guys going to fix it? And they said they didn't want to spend any extra money in fixing it. And I was like, well, all right, well, we can't live here. Seems, uh, seems being petty, but it actually is 10 degrees hotter in this house, no matter what we do. We've tried opening windows, blowing the, the um, um, fan, we've done everything, and we can't seem to drop it. Uh, so if it's 85 outside, which we've had a few 85 days already, uh, it's 95 almost inside the house. So if it does hit those 100 degree days, it's going to be 110, which is unbearable for a, a pregnant lady. So I was like, oh, well, we got to fix this somehow. Uh, so, you know, I told him, I said, just get a couple, you know, window units. We're, we're not that picky. Um, but they said they didn't want to do that. They didn't want to do that and said, you know, uh, fix the central air. They didn't, they didn't want to do anything. They didn't want to spend a cent. And so, unfortunately, we have to move. Um, so they let us out, nice enough to let us out of the lease. Uh, I guess they know that they told us. Um, it's nowhere in the lease. It doesn't say there is no AC. It doesn't say there is, though, AC. It just doesn't talk about it at all in all the ads that they put up, never talked about AC. Um, but they thought it had AC and so did I. Um, so they said since they told us, they specifically told us it did have AC verbally, um, that they'll be kind enough to let us out at least, so that's good. Unfortunately, that means we gotta move again, which is a bit of an expense, you know? We've got a, um, we've got a few items that are just too heavy for me to move alone, and I've got a pregnant wife, she's not gonna be moving. Um, can't really lift a couch myself, I guess I could, but I don't want to risk hurting myself. Plus, we have a big free, uh, freezer uh, for, you know, we sometimes take trips down to uh, Sam's Club, which is, you know, a good hour away, and stock up on, you know, meat and stuff like that. So we've got a big freezer. That thing weighs a lot. I need two people at least, um, and my wife is not um, really equipped to be able to help with that. Uh, so it is going to be a little expense, but um, unfortunately that means that there's going to be a week where I'm not going to be able to fish again uh, because I'm going to have to move. So that means I'm going to have to skip another week. Uh, I'm going to see if I can try to maybe do two fishing trips in a week coming up this next week um, and see if I can't, you know, kind of not have like a lapse um, or, you know, try, try to manage them that way or maybe even do a longer trip, maybe another uh, camping trip where I can do, you know, first day and second day. I'll figure it out, guys, um, but it might be just a week of, uh, you know, one week skip of, of filming. Um, for fly tying, I'll try to tie up like, you know, five or six flies, that gives me time to set up 
the fly tying room um, in the new place. Uh, we should be gone by the, yeah, we should be out of here um, within a week or two um, and in a new place. We, I think we already found a place, so we're going to, we already kind of put our deposit down. So we're going to be uh, moving in there, I think, at the end of this week. You know, but we'll have a couple weeks of, you know, having both places. Uh, so that, that'll, that, that'll be nice. So we'll be able to kind of extend. Uh, right now, I, I just actually went out um, on a trip last week. So not this coming week, you'll see. Um, it's uh, day two of the Vallecito Lake camp trip where I actually made it to the top of the mountain. Um, beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, I did a lot of scene reviews, so you guys will see how pretty it is up there. It's just absolutely amazing. But um, last week, uh, or I'm sorry, just this week, this past week, I went out to a little lake called Electra Lake. Now you gotta pay to get in, it's private, but oh my gosh, amazing trout fishing, guys. So I went and I literally fished for 20 minutes and I got three monster trout. I mean, these were good sized trout. In fact, they were longer than my new net. So while they fit in there because really deep and you know, they bowed and they were fine, um, they still were longer than, than the actual net part. So they were at least 20 inches, um, some of them, you know, 18 to probably 22 inches, but fat guys, really, really fat. Um, and they were, I mean, they were, they were pretty powerful fish, so they were peel and drag. Nice thing is, I got to go out and try the new Pissy, Pisky Fun, Piss, I, I'm not even going to try pronounce it. They've, they've told me a few times how to do it. Um, I just have trouble. I'm, I'm not really a linguist, so excuse me on that, but P-I-S-C-I-F-U-N, so Piss, Piss, Pisces fun, Pisces fun, I think, um, so the sword. So I got to go out and test this, and it is phenomenal, guys, really, it is. Uh, for, you know, I was worried about the drag, I was worried about a few things, you know, the, the testing it on the water was the last thing that I wanted to test. Um, now, I haven't done drop test, so I might take you guys out today, and drop this on the concrete outside, we'll see. It would be pretty sad because I do like this real lot. I want to fish it, but I'm going to test it out and see if I can drop it and how well it's going to work, okay? Um, I don't really want to do it, but I will. Um, actually, I'll probably not do that for today's video. I'm going to make a, an actual review of this, guys, like a full review after fishing it and whatnot. Um, I'm probably going to wait a few weeks on it. I want to go and catch even more fish. But I'm going to tell you just a lot of you had asked me to tell you as soon as I kind of gather some info about it. So I fished and um, it's great, guys. Um, the only thing I can say is you can hear there's no... Hear the clicker? Well, there's no clicker going that way. Um, and, I, you know, it's good, I guess. It's good and bad, okay? Um, for me, it's just something I'm not used to. I'm used to when I'm stripping out line, um, or I'm reeling in, I'm used to, uh, having a clicker on both, right? So it's just kind of a mental thing. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it. It's just kind of a mental thing, but the drag worked well. And in fact, I actually fell, I fell. Um, <laughs> so it's, it was a steep embankment where I was at, I was trying to cast and I hooked a fish and my feet went out from under me and I fell into the water and the, the reel dumped. And I, you know, that's one thing I said because it's not a, clumsy me, uh, it's not a uh, fully sealed drag, right? So that's not sealed, right? Um, so I was worried. I said, you know, it's, uh, that's something I'm worried about. Well, it seemed to work okay. Now, granted, it did, um, make the drag not as tight, so it wasn't as much pressure. Uh, but all I had to do is just tighten it a little more, and then I got that pressure back. So, I mean, I guess if you really had heavy pound tests and you were fishing some saltwater fish that were pulling really hard or pike, um, that might be a problem. I don't know, um, because you know I really had to crank it down good uh, to get 
you know, drag because it did hit the water. But other than that, I mean, but it still held fine. Uh, they peeled drag. I would, you know, this thing sang and it, it held up well and it held them pretty good. I mean, there was no, honestly, fishing it, I couldn't tell any difference between this and my Sage 3200, except for the clicker issue. It didn't feel my comments about it being kind of cheaper uh, aluminum. I didn't notice that while fishing it. It wasn't something that I noticed. Now, will that hold up to the drop test? I don't know, guys. I'm, I haven't done it yet, but it worked out really well. I'm really happy with this. So just, a, you know, a lot of you were asking for um, a quick, um, you know, as soon as I find out about it, um, you know, to let you guys know. So there you go. There's me letting you know about what my findings are with this reel and how it holds up uh, to fish. Now, over the course of the next six months, I don't know, and I'll, I'll let you guys know as soon as something, if something happens to it, obviously if I do a drop test, I mean, that's really not, if I did drop test on my Sage 3200, something could happen to it. So it is possible for something bad to happen to this reel when I do the drop test, okay? Um, but I will try to do that in the next couple weeks. I said I was gonna do it today. I. I want to go fish it again. I want to use it again for the next, you know, couple weeks and catch a few fish and then I'll do it. <laughs> I want to use it. I like it. I really do. I actually, I, so this is just a spool. It's just kind of what I had on hand. I was looking for my other reel. I think I still have it in my bag because I never used it um, out there. I only use this, but I have it in my bag somewhere, um, but this is my Sage 2250, so this is not the 3250, it's the cheaper version, and it's just a spool. Uh, I actually switched the line from this over to this, is where I had the line before, this line. But, I, I don't know if you guys can hear the difference. This, Might not be able to hear the difference because of on camera, I don't know how it's picking it up. This sounds more, this sounds better. Of course, this is cast aluminum. This is not fully machined. So this is not as good of a reel. Well, spool, um, but still, not as good of a reel. The actual reel is not as good as this. It's just, this feels more plasticky kind of feel. Um, it's not plasticky, but cheaper feel than even this. So. $129 reel guys, $58 reel. So it's a good deal guys, this is a good deal. No matter what, it's a great deal. Of course I've fished this now for a year and a half and I've had really no major issues. This is a sealed drag so that's something to think about. Um, the Sage 2250, but again you're paying double the price. And it's cast aluminum so it's not gonna last as long as this, granted the drag. But you know, I'm sure there's a way to get drags for that. So if you do dunk it and you have problems and something happens to it, you get junk in there and it just kind of ruins it, you could probably drop drags in there. In fact, um, I bet you if you contact them, they could probably send you new drags for super cheap, if not free. Um, I don't know though, okay, I'm not I'm not them. Um, I did talk to them about the, the warranty and I will say that they told me that they will do their best um, so if it's an obvious manufacturing issue, so you didn't go and chuck it off a cliff, um, if it's a manufacturing issue, they will pay for the shipping to fix this. It's a three-year warranty. They will pay the shipping to fix this to their nearest facility. Um, I think they actually have one in the U.S. So they'll ship it, uh, you ship it to them, um, then they see what they can do on fixing it, uh, but they pay the shipping if it's their obvious problem. That's what they told me. Okay, because um, after I made the video, I wasn't sure about that. They corrected me and let me know. Uh, no, um, but if you obviously mess it up, you drop it, whatever. There's, you know, they can tell that it's something that you did. They said that they will have you pay the shipping, but they'll still fix it. It's still warranty. That's pretty good, guys. That's, I mean, that's I think better than Sage does on their wheels. But I don't know. They might fix them for free. I'm not sure. I think you got to pay the shipping no matter what, though. I think you do. I mean, I know I did with my rod, so I'm sure you got to do it with the reel. They're willing to do it. Obviously, you know, with my rod, I it was my problem. Um, I broke it, so I told them that. Maybe I don't know. I don't know about Sage 100% because I've only used it once, and it was something that I broke. So, anyway. That's really good, guys. So I've had a few people ask for some reviews on my tent. So I've been doing some camping trips lately. 
Um, and I do them every year, but uh, when I started doing the fishing channel, um, when I, uh, the, the actual fishing action videos, it was winter and I just don't do a lot of camping in winter. But now that it's getting warmer, it's summer, um, I'm able to get out and do some camping trips. And I've shown you guys, uh, you know, my tent, my, my sleeping bag, backpack, whatnot, and a lot of you have asked for full reviews on those. So obviously I do reviews on, you know, my, you know, fishing stuff. Um, but some of you were asking for some reviews on those items. So, um, I plan on doing that soon. I'm just letting you guys know. Um, one person specifically really wanted to know about my sleeping bag because it was 30 bucks. It's a good sleeping bag and it's a zero degree and it packs somewhat small. It is a good bag. Um, I'm just telling you right off the bat, great bag. But for a full review, I'll try to do that. I don't know if I'm going to do that this week. It might be next, but that'll be the next one. And I plan on doing a review on my tent. You know, I'll try to do some more reviews, basically, uh, even on the camping stuff. So it's not just going to be fishing. It's going to be reviews on camping stuff. If you guys have a problem with it, let me know. I mean, you know, I want to please as many people as possible with the channel. If it's something that you guys aren't interested in, you just don't camp, you only fish, you know, I get that. And, you know, if you really have a problem with it, let me know, voice your opinion on it. Um, but I generally feel like I think most of you won't care. You might not watch it, um, but if you don't really camp, you're not going to care if I put up a video on a camping product if other people want to see it. So some of you had asked about it. So I plan on doing that soon. Um, I also want to do a full review on some of my uh, rods that I have. So um, I haven't really done a whole lot. I think I did like a written review uh, on my website once and you know just haven't done a lot. By the way speaking of website I haven't really been updating it. I've just been working really really hard. I, you know, I put in total between the channel and my regular job, probably 80 plus hours a week. I'm just slammed guys. I'm really, really, really tired. And I just don't always have time to update and updating my website for the videos. It just adds an extra, you know, good 30 minutes at least to making the videos. And it seems like that's not a lot. And it isn't compared to how long it takes to edit some of, especially the fishing videos. But it's just an added a step that I just, I mean, I'm pretty slammed for time. Half hour is actually a lot for me right now. Um, and I, so I haven't been doing it. And I apologize for not updating the website, guys. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can figure out a way to make it a little easier. Maybe just have, instead of update each single video that I make, maybe just have a link to the channel of different, different uh, um, uh, playlists. I don't know. We're, I'll try to figure it out. I might have to just shut it down completely, the actual website part. You know, I don't get a lot of views to it. And, uh, many of you have not actually gone to the site, and I probably get maybe uh, 50 to 100 views to the site a day, which isn't a lot, considering I'm, I'm pushing 5,000 a day with the channel, um, sometimes more, you know. Um, so it's just, it's not something on my major priority list, unfortunately. And I apologize if any of you guys really like going to the site. And if you do, let me know. If you don't, if you don't care, also let me know. Um, in fact, I'll put a poll right now. I'll try to remember this time. I know last time I forgot to put the poll up. Um, but I'll put a poll up. You can click, uh, you know, yes or no. Do you, do you actually visit the site or do you care if I, you know, shut it down or whatever, okay? Um, yeah, so there we go, guys. So we're moving to a new place. Nice thing about that place, so we I think we found a place. The nice thing about it, unfortunately, it's only a two bedroom. This is a three. So I've got a nice room here that I can do fly tying. Nice thing about that, though, is it does have a, a giant, like a four-car garage. It's huge. So the whole, basically, the whole upstairs is a two bedroom. It's small. It's it's rather small place. Uh, but the downstairs, and luckily it's a little cheaper than here, which is nice. Uh, the downstairs... Um, is all garage. I mean, the whole thing is garage. So while they call it two car garage, I mean, you could literally put two cars back to back side to side like this. So you could put four, it's got a lot of space. So I think I'll try to do a lot, you know, I'll set everything up down, down in the garage, which will be kind of nice. And it'll make it a little quieter. Sometimes up here, um, my wife's watching my kid and I'm trying to do videos. Sometimes, uh, he can be loud, you know, I mean, he's a three year old. It is what it is. That'll keep it quiet. So it's a very nice place, um, kind of a more of a backyard here. It's not really a backyard. Um, unfortunately, we're not really round people here. He's got some playmates to play with, but it's just, I mean, I'm, guys, I'm sweating right now. 
this is almost nighttime. It's it's uh it's about seven o'clock. Sun is almost down, and I'm like, I'm sweating. Okay, it's it's 89 degrees in the house right now, and outside it's about 78. So 10 degrees hotter, a little a little more than 10 degrees hotter than outside. It'll stay like this pretty much all night. Um, for some reason it just holds the heat. I don't know what it is. So it'll be good to get out of that um, into something cooler. So. I've talked with you guys before about this that I recently signed up with uh, Amazon Prime and I've promised you guys that I wouldn't just put up Amazon links uh, just for the heck of it to make money. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not here to make a ton of money, but if I'm already going to link two products, which I already do f to help you guys, um, you know, I, I might as well get some kickback from it. But I don't know if you guys have noticed that in last little bit since then, really I put very little links to Amazon. Some of them I do because I bought that that specific product from Amazon and I do shop at Amazon a lot. Um, but um, most of, especially fly tying stuff, I find you don't get great deals on Amazon so I don't buy there. So like some cone heads and stuff are much cheaper to buy at you know fly tying shops, like you know um, online shops. You know you pay five, six bucks for this many on uh, on Amazon, and then you pay 250 or something like that on um, on fly tying shop. So I will not, you know, I'll make sure it's it's a good deal, and you know, um, and it's worth paying. If it is a little extra on Amazon, it's always going to be worth paying it because they guarantee. I might not have worked with that fly tying shop that has it at a discount or something. So that guarantees, you know, with Amazon, they guarantee that you're satisfied, and if you're not, you can return it to Amazon, no questions asked. So. Um, if you guys don't mind, you know, check that out. And if you see a link to Amazon and um, you find that it's, you know, a good deal um, and you want to buy it, make sure you please click the link and help me out. Um, otherwise, if you find a better deal, please don't don't buy from my Amazon. If you feel like you it's a safe buy or um, whatnot, and you find a better deal, use that. Use that to buy your materials um, or any products. Um, but I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to get something. Because I, you know, I do, I do need to buy things for the, you know, for instance, look at these hard drives, you know, they're, uh, 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 sorry, um, SD drives, you know, um, they're they're expensive. These things are very expensive, um, and they come out of my pocket. So, you know, cameras and um, storage hard drives like this. I mean, you know, I have to dump all the footage onto a hard drive to keep it. It doesn't all stay on my computer. And these things are, you know, 7,500 bucks each, you know, two terabytes, of course, but, you know, I go through that in like four months, you know, so I, I have to spend money to keep the channel going. So it just helps. And I, so I appreciate you guys. Um, but again, you know, like I've said before, I stress, try to buy from your local fly shop first. And then, you know, that's first and foremost. And second, if you can't, or, you know, you just can't afford it or whatever it may be, um, no, no reason to judge here why you're not buying from your local fly shop. I'm not going to do that. Um, but if you're not um, and you're buying online, you know, if you could, it would help me unless you find a better deal um, or somewhere that you trust more, okay, than Amazon. So, uh, but if you are going to buy and you feel Amazon is a good deal, please cl click those links. It just helps. Thank you, guys. Well, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, obviously, like always, please subscribe. Now it's time for you guys to go catch some fish. I'll see you on the next video.